What is going on my shiny cardboard enthusiasts? Welcome back to the channel guys and today we're jumping into some more Fighters Ambition but we're actually jumping into the gift collection box that dropped with this set. Honestly, I didn't even know this was coming out with this set until I started looking at some websites and I saw that they were selling them so I decided to pick three of them up. I, uh, they showed up in the mail earlier today. I got two of them that got some slight minor damages so we're gonna open up these two. I'm gonna keep the third one for my sealed collection and if you guys didn't catch the uh, last gift collection box they dropped it's actually a huge difference compared to like the boxes and everything but you kind of get almost ex I, I think the only difference between them is that you get uh, these exclusive cards that you might be able to get from these I think that's really the only difference you get sleeves and booster packs and like a deck box and everything like that but I'm actually going to open these on camera, but before we dive into the opening, guys, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing to the channel today so you guys don't miss out on any of the Dragon Ball Super content that I do here on the channel. Hit the video with a like if you guys enjoyed and drop some comments down below. Let me know if you guys are going to pick up this box set or if you're just going to stick with some booster boxes or maybe some loose packs and stuff like that. I know somebody in my last booster box opening uh, told me that they actually pulled the Beast Gohan from one of these, so... Got my fingers crossed that we can't pull a secret rare as a recording of this video. I still haven't pulled a secret rare, but I still got two booster boxes and some blisters to jump into. So if we don't get lucky today, hopefully we get lucky sooner or later. I mean, I would just really like to pull one of them, but I'm actually going to open these on camera. So, uh, you know, we can actually do that. I can show you guys what you can actually get from these. So let's go ahead and then open up one real quick because I'm actually curious to see everything in person. So there, put the box over chur. We'll get the, move that out of the way. Oh, my ears, <laughs> God. We'll get this one, Whoop. magical. I, I got this all predetermined out already so we wouldn't have to waste a bunch of time doing this stuff. I'm actually opening this on camera just because I noticed like uh, like a couple weeks ago, somebody left a comment on my Realm of the Gods opening, and they were just like, it's kind of sus that he didn't open those on camera. Like, I would understand if you would say that if I, like, pulled the God Rare, but I didn't even pull anything in that video, so it just kind of made me laugh. And I figured, why not show you guys everything you guys can get in these and whatnot. So, we'll go ahead and try not to scrape the plastic, but we got the stuff right here. Just lift the top off of these. Oh, I wonder if I could use these for something. I think I might be a hoarder, <laughs> but you get five blister or five booster packs. So let's get these out. Damn, this one's all. Look at that one. Oh, we got messed up. Hopefully there's nothing crazy in there. And oh, we actually got. Hold on, this is kind of hard to get out. There we go. So we actually got the. Uh, oh, okay. So you get one exclusive card, and this is the one that we got. We got Forbidden Power, which was like the Red Ribbon Army and stuff. Is it just the one? It is just the one. I don't know. I mean, the top of this is kind of bent and everything, so I don't know how well the card will be as far as like condition goes. And there's a nice little hollow pattern on it and stuff, but we're gonna set that off to the side. So this is one of the uh, three exclusive arts that you can get from the sleeves, which is Broly and Gogeta, but you only get seven of these, which is weird in my opinion, honestly, if you ask me. And then you get these guaranteed ultra instinct sleeves you always get these but the other like the other seven are random and you also get this here hold on putting making cleanup a little bit easier for myself later but we got this deck box with some which looks like some gohan card art oh that's so cool i love that and then we got dragon ball super card game at the bottom i wonder if there's a whoa. There's no deck divider in this one this time because this one came with a deck divider. It's like an Ultra Instinct Omen one, but this is not a bad deck box. It's got some like texture to it and everything. Looks really cool. I don't know if I can show you. Yeah, you can see it right there, but not a bad little deck box, honestly. I'll probably put some uh, some extra stuff that's just like, you know, clutter and whatnot. It's usually what I use those for. There's our second one. We'll get, uh, we'll just flip this over so we don't get spoiled for anything. Okay, get the packs out. Having a hard time over here, folks. <laughs> so those over there. All right, so we got our packs with those. I don't want to reveal what the card we got yet is. And, oh, damn. Damn, look at that. Is that, is that what is that? I don't know, y'all see that in the back right there? I don't know, let's see what we got, though. 
Oh, nice. We got Dormant Potential Unleashed Piccolo. That actually looks really badass, actually. I like that. We got the regular green Piccolo right here. Then, like, his... That actually looks like the pose from the uh, SCR with uh, Gohan from Ultimate Squad. So, we didn't double up. That's nice. I bet this one has the... Uh, you know, originally, I thought that the box art... Because they said three different types. Hold on. Let's see what other packs we got. And we got the same exact pack art but you know it is what it is we got 14 of those now and then more of the ultra instinct goku ones but uh yeah so now let's actually jump into these packs we'll do one box per we're actually going to jump into this one first because this pack is destroyed but let's see here hopefully the you know the cards look good so that's all that matters at the end of the day right but let's see what the pull rates are going to be for these things will we get anything crazy i mean I'll, I'll take some more villainous reverses. I mean, if you guys haven't been catching the openings, this is the first one you guys caught of me. I am looking for... Oh, look at that Gotenks reverse. That looks so good. I love the reverses in these um, in this set. In the Zenkais, I guess I should say. But, you know, I'm looking for that Cumber or that Beast Gohan. Oh my goodness. I keep my nails long just for this reason. <laughs> to make this part easy. Yeah, because I don't like doing that perforated side rip thing. I don't want to damn. Did I see something? Sh I think I saw something shiny in the back there. Let's, uh, let's go back there and check out and see what it was. Could it be a secret rare? Is there hype build-up music going on behind me right now? That'd be awesome. I would love to get that Cumber or that Beast Gohan. And we got uh, another duplicate SR. Unfortunate. But I, I was right. There was something shiny back there. Let's see if we can't open this pack here nope i refuse to let you give me a hard time packs i know how to open you now plus i like opening the packs like that it just makes me feel better like more or less because i know um i've seen people like damage their cards from ripping it from the side like that and every time i try to rip it from the side i can never do it correctly i always get like a little bit of the sleeve like on the side so i just don't mess with that but we got mechida reverse and then Piccolo, New Evolution, Regular Rare. Let's see if we, oh, missed the pack there. There we go. Hiya! Over from the side, boom. Damn, folks, I'm a professional. But let's see if we, oh, I know some people, I, I've been seeing some people do like a card trick where they like take like the back two cards and just put it in the front and stuff and you know, I just, I don't like doing card tricks. I like to go through my, oh, we got the Bojack Reverse. I like to go through my whole pack because I like doing my card openings a certain way. But we haven't gotten this Bojack as a reverse yet, but let's see. And then we got another regular rare. So final pack for this gift box here. Honestly, I don't really have a lot of, uh, oh my goodness. Bruh, All right. making me use my finger. My, my pointer finger because usually because after a while like because I have to like whenever I open the pack I dig my nail into my finger right there to get a good grip on it so it rips but uh after a while when I do that for so long it starts to hurt my finger so I try to switch it up to my middle finger but it uh it's just like no you must use the other one feel pain suffering but we got oh we got meta cooler reverse haven't gotten that yet and then another regular rare so Honestly, pretty lame box if you were to ask me my personal opinion on it. Just one SR, but I mean, you know, I, I mean, this they're only like 24 bucks, but I mean, you're getting like a whole exclusive card. You're getting a bunch of sleeves and a deck box. So, I mean, it's pretty, it, I mean, I feel like they're worth getting. I'll probably label these, oh bleh, my God, my accent. Uh, I'll probably label this video, uh, are the gift boxes worth getting? And I mean, you know, just you algorithm YouTuber clickbaity stuff. And I don't want to go too crazy on my clickbait because I know everyone be attacking rhyme style here lately. <laughs> but uh, so let's see if these are going to come through with some goods. I mean, I don't, I won't buy any more of these because originally I thought, oh my God, this is making me so mad. <laughs> All right, we'll do the side thing. Fuck it. See, look, I can never do it. <clears throat> My voice is going out. I feel like, I feel like sickness is probably upon me. So I've been, I've been kind of like, okay, I need to go sit down and go record all these while I can before I end up getting sick and I just have a bunch of product ready to be opened. And 
you know, relevancy with cards and stuff like that is such a big thing. People don't really talk about that a lot, but yeah, if you're a card opening channel, whenever a set releases, you gotta get this stuff out ASAP. Oh, there's a another Sun Gohan Piccolo Master Reverse, and then oh, dude! Oh my God, I was really wanting this uh, Gohan rare. Oh my God! All right, we'll uh, we'll we'll do a panning real quick. Oh, dude, this look these look so good in person. I feel like they really dropped the ball on not showing these off whenever like whenever they showed them off they should have showed off the texture and stuff with them but man i love the way these things look i'm actually gonna sleeve this up right here because i um i almost have all of them i only need one more now and i'll have all of them let me uh, oh yeah i gotta look at this real quick off screen now oh, there's one print line all right there's only one print line on it which is like focus see like right there by gohan's hair it's like right here kind of you can see it in the frame right there but still not that bad i'm still really happy with this pool honestly this just made the whole uh, opening really worth it for me because i really wanted that one that was the one i wanted the most so if you guys want to just see what i got already i already got these three other ones right here this is by far my favorite one out of all of them but that's really nice all i need is the Oh, excuse me, Frieza Saga one. Had a bird there and I couldn't ignore it. <laughs> but yeah, all I need is the Frieza Saga one and I'm sure I'll probably get it from one of the two boxes I still have left to open. So, got my fingers crossed that I can finish these Gohan rares. That'd be really nice because they are actually really cool. When I first saw them, I was like, I wasn't that impressed with them or anything. But now that I've seen their texture and I've seen them in person, my opinion on them has changed quite a lot. I'm actually really... A uh, big fan of them now, but you know, we'll see what else we can get out of these next this pack and the next one But honestly, I feel like that Gohan rare is probably gonna be our big uh, Like our big pull for this last box, which you know, I'm glad I picked these two boxes I'm sorry. I'm struggling to get these freaking packs to open but they are usually like at the top they have like a like a little bit of like a like a hole to like separate from uh, you know like the pack like, like everything like the little creases or whatever and I'm usually I can like get my nail in between there and rip it apart But they are not one to give up the goods this time around. Oh, sorry. Not all the way in frame there Got Zooming Broly. I, I think I I think I still need to oh my god, dude Look at that. This is the pack art for Gogeta right here. That looks so good There's a couple print lines on it, but you know that's to be expected with this set God, that looks so good. Throw that in the background, too. Uh, you know, honestly, I can't complain about these, you know, really badass. Or, okay, you see right there? That's what I'm talking about. Because usually I can just throw my thumb in right there and see how easy that is to just rip open for me. And I just put some pressure on this side and then just pull this away. And it's so much easier for me, in my opinion. It makes me feel like I'm not going to damage anything. I got a reverse of this Piccolo already, and it looks so good. Like... The leaders and awaken cards look so badass in this reverse hollow pattern, but can we get some last pack magic? Can we pull a secret rare? Nice. We haven't had the bio Broly as a reverse yet. And then, ah, uh, bummer. I, I honestly, I've pulled this guy like three times. He was actually a box topper in one of my, uh, in one of my boxes. But you know, honestly, that was probably a, that was a really good gift box. Like we got a Gohan rare and an SR and some really nice reverse foils. So honestly, they're not worth pick. I mean, they, they're not, it's worth picking them up. There we go. <laughs> I said that all wrong, but uh, yeah, not a bad little opening. I'm really happy with those Gohan rares. I only need one more. The reverse hollows were a nice little pickup too. It was a nice little decent 14, 15 minute video. I appreciate you guys being here. Taking time out of your day to watch me and listen to me open up some shiny cardboard. Have a great rest of your day, everybody, and I will catch you guys in the next time.